Okay, can you talk about um, what made you do this project again? Was it because of, as you said, uh, Jim Carrey? We always wanted to do, a, this was the only movie we ever wanted to do a sequel to. You know, uh, it, it was the natural sequel movie. And we had talked about it for years, but it never really got much, uh, it, it never really got going until one day Jim called about five years ago and had seen it on TV and just called us and said, we got to do this. This is too much fun. I want to go back and do those characters. And then we were on board. Yeah, we were, you know, we were ready to go if, if he was ready. Mm -hmm. And how do you divide the work um, between yourselves? You know, how, who does what? <laughs> we just both tell Jim to be as funny as he can be, and he goes out there and does it, and uh, does all the heavy lifting. No, yeah, we, we a, have a system that we've worked out after 20 years that... Uh, we don't edit together. Like, he'll edit for a month, and I'll just go hang out on the beach or do, you know, with my family. And then when he's done, he'll give me the movie, and I'll edit what he edited for another month, while he's off playing golf, and then we get together for two weeks and you know kind of work it out. That's the editing process. On set, it's pretty much we're doing all the same stuff. Mm -hmm. Is it Goofy also on the set with these guys, Jim and? Jim? It's fun. It's loose. Yeah, it, you, you, we have to keep it loose. We have to keep them where they're having fun and willing to try anything and not afraid to try something and fail. Because a lot of times they try something and it, and it doesn't work. But if they don't try it, you know, we, it won't be better than we had hoped it would be. So there's a lot of improvisation also on the set. There is, but a lot of the improv comes before we are on the set where we will go, we'll sit down with them in the script and we'll go through it and we'll try to find stuff then. And that's where we find most, we find our... Yeah, I think that the actors want to know what they're going to do that day. But yeah. once, you, once they're doing it, certainly if, they, if somebody comes up with a, a way that feels funnier or better, that we'll go with that. Mm -hmm. And why do you say Jim is a comic genius? Because... Well, it's I, I mean, for obvious reasons, because he's made some of the best comedies ever, but um, also because of all the guys we ever worked with, and we've worked with great ones, he's the best uh, comedic writer. He, mm -hmm. before you go on the set, he sits down with that script and us, and we go line by line, and he, it's amazing the stuff he comes up with. That's what elevates him from other people, that he's just flat out funnier as a writer than the others and you know when you work with him you're in awe of him because you see you don't see as much as we see he does it all and he's something else mm -hmm. and why did you think he clicked with Jeff I think the he clicked with Jeff because he realized how good an actor Jeff was and 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 so he respected that if you put him up against a comedian who maybe wasn't quite as in the zone funny as Jim was he it might not it might not gel but he was like, wow, this guy is such a good actor that uh, it challenged Jim in a, in a different direction. Mm -hmm. And Kathleen Turner in the movie, what was the surprise? She was fantastic and a real good sport because we make fun of her, you know, in it. But we dress her down. We, had, we said, like, a dress down Kathleen Turner. And the guys come and they see her. It's Freda Felcher, who they had spoken of in the first movie, but we never saw. Uh, but she was just a, a, a pleasure to be around and, and added a lot to the movie. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>